Hello, online world. This is Off the Record with Migs. And Cheska. And oh my goodness, we are. Ano na ba? Is this our final episode for this season, Migs? Ah, <laughs> uh, parang magbe-break muna tayo after nito. Undas break. break. Short, short break. <laughs> uh, short break muna tayo. Siempre, of course, break. Migs boost us here. Uh, alongside my partner, Cheska Litton Kalao, and we've been uh, giving you sports stories, uh, chats and conversations uh, with your favorite athletes. And of course, Off the Record is on ABS-CBN Sports. Follow at ABS-CBN Sports on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And ito nga po, siguro ang ating final episode for October. For final October. episode for October. Okay, so we've had a couple of episodes so far featuring women. Nung last time po natin, our mga women triathletes who finished the Ironman Championship in Kona, Hawaii. And for today, we will continue the discussion on women empowerment, women goals. Kaya po pag-uusapan po natin ang uh, SEA Games gold medalist, national athlete, but decided to take another route. Not a different route, but another route because she is now pursuing medicine and she's currently in med school. Yeah, yeah. And let us all welcome Agatha Wong. Hi, Agatha. Hi. All right. Thank you for joining us today, Agatha. Actually, you, pa, yung, yung schedule ni yung schedule ni Agatha, like thank you for squeezing us in kasi parang ang daming nangyayari today. Yeah. <laughs> kasi syempre, I can I can't imagine, you know, if you if you're just if you're just entering med school and then pinagsasabay mo yung training mo, that's really time management. Pero pag-usapan natin 'yan later on in this discussion. Agatha, tatanungin natin. Yun ang una kong tanong sa'yo before we went on air. Bakit mo na-decide na mag-med school ako? Um, so, yung ano ko kasi, yung college degree ko, it's a pre-law course. And when I graduated in 2018, parang naisip ko, I think law isn't for me because majority of my batch took law. So, I decided to take a year off na parang um, like a gap year lang and focused on sports which is Mushu. And then after no nag-pandemic, tapos naisip ko I wanna study again and then I realized na gusto ko mag-med because even before I applied sa college ko, um, I wanted a science course but I didn't know what kind of like profession I wanted. So gusto ko um, science related lagi. So that's why I took this opportunity habang pandemic to apply and to get into med school ganun. and yun okay naman siya i am now in med school so it um it worked out for me yeah, sorry i i love interviewing both agatha and jamie kasi sobrang when you talk to them again agatha med school jamie math you mean hmm. guys <laughs> <laughs> ano talaga eh, no? parang not your usual athlete. No, not at all. Oh. And again, like setting extremely incredible examples. Um, na agatha yun nga. Like even if you took a gap year, sorry, can we talk about the gap year for a little bit? Um, because sure. maraming na discover ang isang tao about himself or herself when they actually take a step back and just breathe. Um, what were the things that you realized when you took that gap year? Um, first of all, actually, yung plan ko talaga wasn't to take a gap year because when I graduated, I wanted to keep studying. Pero after nung 2018, I was kind of burned out from college. So sabi ko sa sarili ko, I won't um, study within 2018. So may ako na graduate. Hindi muna ako mag-aaral this year sa 2018. I wanted to study 2019. Kaso lang sabi ng coach ko sa akin, baka hindi ko daw makayanan. Um, if I tried to study and I tried to prepare for SEA Games, kasi one year yung preparation ko for yung um, Manila SEA Games noong 2019. So, yun, I took the risk na lang. Sabi ko, okay, sige, I'll just um, prepare for SEA Games na 2019. And then 2020 came, nag-pandemic, saktong-sakto. Wala akong ginagawa sa bahay. So, I was like, this is my opportunity to apply. So, that's where that's when I applied. Yun. What's your experience so far? Um, okay naman siya. Actually, ano, um, I didn't want to go to the med school I was accepted to noong 2020 uh, for the 2021 cycle. So, I decided to reapply sa 2021 and now I got into sa 2022. So, yun, that's where, that's, that's where I'm studying right now. Is, is the life of a student, um, everything that you remember it to be or 
may may dagdag now that you're in med school? It's funny wow. kasi nung college, that's a really good question. Nung college kasi ano, um, it was, for me as a course ko, at least a course ko, it was relatively manageable naman to get good marks. Like really, like better than average marks. If you really study ng, ma- ng maayos, ganun. Pag punta ko sa med school, um, I managed my expectations na kaagad. Kasi med school is like law school, you know. Walang nakaka-100 lagi. And um, lalo na pag med, galing fr- um, coming from a pre-law course, alam ko naman na I won't be doing as well as my batchmates who graduated with science degrees, di ba? So I gave myself that, ano, that, um, that comfort na it's okay to fail and it's okay to fail some quizzes, some, some exams. So that really proved um, okay for my mental health. Kaya nung pagpasok ko ng med school, I tried my best. And kahit na minsan hindi ako pumapasa, okay lang sa akin to fail. Kasi it's all part of the process talaga. And also, na-apply ko yung mindset ko na yun from sports, di ba? Sa sports, hindi ka naman laging mananalo. So sa med, kailangan mo din i-apply yun. Kasi you're not always going to be perfect sa med, syempre. Hmm. Speaking of sports, uh, if you wear the athlete hat of Agatha Wong, what's that like now? Um, I still manage to train, which is very surprising to most people. Because um, I think, I believe, because if you want to do two things, for example, two careers, like maybe study while you're working, you can do it. You know, without any distractions or kahit na may distractions kasi I still find time to hang out with my friends, with my family. Yun nga lang, um, mas ano na siya, like, mas kailangan mas scheduled na siya, syempre, kasi I'm in med school. And my family understands this. So kapag, sa, sa, uh, kapag sinasabi ko sa kanila na um, I can't go out because I have to study, they're okay with it. Lalo na kapag exams or pag may quiz, ganun. And they also understand when I'm tired because of studying. Yeah. Is this... Is this something na, sorry, kasi again, sobrang iba yung college experience ko. Hindi ko kaya yung ginagawa mo. <laughs> but if you were, if you were younger um, and you placed yourself in the situation na yun na nga, like years ago, if you decided to go into med school, kasi nag-pre-law kayo. So kind of, like, was the schedule also kind of the same or mas may, mas may madugo ba? Or what's the main difference, you think? I, for me, yung pinaka distinguishable na difference is when I went through high school, through college, kahit um doing sports full time as well, I was able to balance yung ano ko yung competence ko as a student and yung competence ko as an athlete. Pagdating ko sa med school, it was really funny kasi sa med school pag hindi ka nag-aral, babagsak ka talaga like one hundred percent. Like I'm really sure, and um sobrang liit lang ng chances na. Um, isha-shotgun mo most of the questions, bahala na si Lord kung ano, pag hindi mo natapos yung kailangan mong See, aralin, gano'n. <laughs> you can talaga, lalo na pag ano, lalo na pag your grade, your overall grade is hanging by a thread. Hindi talaga kaya, guys. Sa college kasi, saka sa high school, pwede pa. Like, for example, nag-zero ka sa midterms, okay lang yun. Pero sa med school, it's not. Kasi it's harder to pick yourself up from a failing grade. So, yun yung na-realize ko sa med. <laughs> Curious, curious ako, Agatha, um, syempre, um, unlike like any major decision in life, although you've been thinking about this for a long time already, any major decision in life, you, you'd have to have you know, some consultations or some inspirations or someone you know, um, guiding you through the way. Um, sino yung mga naging tao na yun sa buhay mo that encouraged you na sige, Agatha, pursue mo yung med school? Um, I mostly made the decision myself naman kasi um, I don't, when I make decisions, kasi especially life decisions, I try not to weigh or compare myself with other people or I try not to seek out parang a lot of opinions from other people kasi feeling ko makakloud yung um, decision making. Ano ko. So what I did was I decided na ito ba talaga yung gusto ko. So I reflected on it for a lot, for a long time. Kasi nung 2020, hindi ako nag-aral, pero I applied. Tapos, um, inask ko yung sa sarili ko, gusto mo pa rin ba to? Like, do you still wanna apply kung nandun pa ba? So, the answer is yes. So, I decided to tell my parents. And my t- parents were like, what? Huh? Magmamed ka? Hindi ba galing pre-law ka? Ba't ka magmamed? Eh, yung mommy ko, um, she's from a family of doctors. So, natuwa siya kasi she, ano, although my parents never really, um, pressured me and my siblings to, you know, be a lawyer or be a doctor, be an engineer. Siyempre, natuwa siya nung sinabi kong gusto ko mag-med. So, 
she was very happy about it and she supported it. Yung dad ko, on the other hand, yung, ano, yung unang sinabi niya sa akin is, takot ka sa ibis, magmement ka, ganun. So, yun, it was really funny. Kaya niya so, Sinabi ko na lang sa dad ko, sabi ko, hindi dad, I'm not, I'm not scared anymore. It's a cockroach. Sige, nabukan natin, <laughs> meron ba dyan? Wala yata wala, dyan. Wala, wala. Para malinis yung lugar mo eh, so wala dyan. Uh, malinis to. <laughs> yun. <laughs> Yeah. Di ba lang ako pwede sa med? Di ako pwede sa med. Takot sa ipis. Oo, oh, takot sa ipis. Di ako pwede yeah. sa med. Lalo na like, yeah. so, I have a funny story. So, yung sister ko, nag-training siya kasi swimmer yung sister ko, yung bunso namin. Ano, na-injure siya. Um, hindi naman to muscular injury. All, ano siya, parang natanggal yung kuko niya sa pinky. As in, the whole of it. So, it was really bloody. She wanted to, I wasn't there to witness it, pero she took a picture of it. She wanted to show me. Sabi ko, ayoko, wala pa ako dyan, Kiel. I'm not in that stage yet. <laughs> so, my parents were like, ano ang ginagawa nito? <laughs> adjustment <laughs> naman daw. Sure ka ba? Gusto mo mag-men? <laughs> sure ka ba? Pero adjustment naman daw. Uh, Siguro yeah, makaisang tempo. Yeah, gradually. Nasa anatomy pa lang ako. So, intend <laughs> muna nila ako ng mga a few years. Ganun. <laughs> Pero yung mga dissection, dissection dati, kinaya mo, like, okay naman. Yeah, yung cadavers, it's okay with me. Pero, you know, kapag yung, like my sister, I don't even want to look at her feet. I have never seen it yet. Like, hindi ko tinitingnan yung paa niya because I just, you know, hindi pa ako ready. Pa, so, yeah. Ready. <laughs> ano, mga isang sem pa. Two sem, two sem. Tapos, na-break in na, kung baga mabibreak yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> mabibreak in, mabibreak in. Okay, uh, you kind of briefly discussed on, you know, the connections between athlete life and this path that uh, you are taking, anything else siguro na parang, hindi uh, naman anticipation, kasi syempre we cannot really tell the future what's in front of us. Pero siguro the biggest challenges, if that comes your way, Agatha, uh, what do you think that will be like? Um, I have some, ano, I have some friends who told me na hindi, they can't imagine my situation right now, because I'm training, tapos I'm studying, ganun. Pero there was, was, there was this one particular friend na parang uh, she made me realize what my biggest parang challenge was. Because hindi pa ako, although I think far, I think um, far into the future, I hindi ko na realize to. So we were looking at our ano, school calendar and she told me, ito yung finals exam sa first year. Tapos nakita ko yung finals date. It was in the last week of May. And I realized yung, yung Cambodia Sea Games, it was in May as well. So I had to check yeah. yung, um, yung date. Tapos it, it, was, um, it was two weeks before the finals. Pero kasi what was, ano, what was difficult was yung sa finals, it will consist of everything from your first day of um, uh, med school. So medyo ano siya, mabigat siya. So... Yung ano ko, yung pinaka challenge ko is how will I be able to train consistently and at the same time prepare myself mentally for Cambodia Sea Games and at the same time pass for Sea Med. So medyo ano, medyo I I'm making myself adjust right now. So the ba parang sabi ko sa inyo kanina, I had an exam. So no, this is my second round of exams. Yung first round of exams ko hindi talaga ako nag-train for a week kasi one week yung duration. But the second um the second uh exam week ko, I forced myself na kailangan mag-training ako at least once a day. And then sa next exam week ko, sa third exam week, I have to make myself train twice a day. Parang ganun lang siya. So I'm making myself adjust na ngayon pa lang in preparation for next year kasi madugo yung next year ko. <laughs> yeah, I I'm curious now athlete life. Uh, when it comes to training, conditioning skill, um yeah. where are you now? Considering that you're doing this also, being a med student full time, I know. Um, I'm trying not to neglect one responsibility over the other. So, for example, if I have a lot going on in med school, I'm, I'm, I know. Hindi ko. I try to make it a point to train at least five times a week or four times a week. Kasi once a week lang naman yung face-to-face ko. Tapos pag kung, ano, kung kaya ng schedule ko, magta-training ako twice a week, which is most of the time naman. As long as I pass my subjects, I'm good. And as long as I keep improving sa, ano, sa wushu din, I'm also good. So, yun lang. Just trying to keep up. <laughs> what, so far, what was the biggest sacrifice you've had to 
make? What was the one thing that you had you knew that you immediately had to give up once you committed to med school and being an athlete at the same time? Um, hindi naman immediately, pero na-realize ko to mga, ano, mga three weeks into med school. Yung ano ko, yung... If I train kasi twice a day, I nap in between. Hindi na ako nag-nap in between. I just um, prepare, I just um, dedicate that time to studying. Tapos sometimes, no, most of the time actually, I wake up earlier than my teammates. So for example, today I woke up at 5 to study for an exam. Tapos... I'm pretty sure I will end my day later than my teammates as well. So, yung time talaga, yung time of rest, yun yung, ano, yun yung sinacrifice ko. Like, for example, yung, kung wari kung meron kayong, if most people have the time to lie down in the middle of the day, tas mag-scroll sa phone, wala na akong ganun. Um, so, yun. Yun yung pinaka na-sacrifice ko. <laughs> yung, ano ko, yung the time to be a potato. <laughs> kung baga, Agatha, you, you are always on. Yeah, yeah. You're always on. Yeah. Is but, there anything? You, yeah, sorry. Jessica, go. Sorry. go but go, if go, you go. do have time to rest, or if you do have a rest day, ano yung uh, leisurely activity na pang shutdown mo? Kasi importante din yung downtime, di ba? Yeah. Ano, wala lang. I'm just on my phone or sometimes I, I'm a social media girl talaga. Pero when I'm not on my phone, kasi my, my vision got worse. So when I'm not on my phone or I try to lessen my um my exposure sa gadgets ko, I just walk my dog kasi my dad got a new dog. So I, I, I just walk our dog or parang I just spend time with my family ganun, or just go out. Yun. I love dogs. Right. <laughs> Meron... <laughs> Ah, kasi meron ko na bang naisip down the road na gagawin mong, uh, ito yung magiging root mo, specialization mo. Have you always wanted wala to be a pa. bike? Wala pa. Wala pa, wala pa. Yeah. Wala pa. Eh, kanina na nakwento mo yung sa mom side mo, family of doctors sila. So, iba-iba. Iba-iba sila. Yeah, iba-iba. Right? Like, meron has... yung, ano, um, yung isa guy na, tapos yung isa general practitioner, and then, I think yung isa cardiologist. So, iba-iba sila. Yeah. Okay, so wala pa ngayon, wala pa as of now. Just, ano, uh, it's not the journey. Yeah. It's not, it's, ano, ano ba? Gusto, focus on the journey, not the destination. It's about, yeah. sorry. <laughs> focus on the journey, not the destination. It's about the yeah. journey. Okay. Exactly. Jessica? Yes, so, My, eto na lang. Yeah. Um, the, what is, yun nga, you mentioned na twice a week yung training mo. Um, what is a typical day or a typical week like in the life of Agatha Wong now? Ano, ano, hindi naman twice a week, twice a day. <laughs> twice a day, sorry. Twice a day, oh my gosh. Okay, twice, okay. twice a day pala. I know. Um, oh, so, sa Monday, day. on Monday, right? <laughs> so, what I do is, oh my God, I hope hindi ito makita ng mga, ano ko, mga professors ko. Pero sa Monday, pag may online class ako, I... Oh my God, hindi ko, never, you know what, I'm not gonna say it na lang, baka off the record na lang later. Okay. Oh, oh, so, off the, nasa off the record naman tayo eh, so pwede naman. Doc, si Agatha pala. Yeah, edit mo ba to? Edit, edit pa to? Medyo ko na. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pero basta, Dinalo ko lang kita, dinalo ko lang kita. Basta, basta like, Basta ano, basta I train twice a day, tapos, syempre, so, may, pag may face-to-face classes kami on Tuesday, I go there. Tapos yun, hanggang Friday lang naman yung classes ko. So, as long as I pass all of my quizzes and as long as I do my parts sa group works, as long as I um pass all of my exams, okay naman sa akin yun. Yun lang naman. Yun. Uy, Agatha, niloko na. Wala, wala akong kilalang doktor sa, ano, ako sa kanagaan. Yeah, doon. pero kasi, <laughs> ano, sa Instagram, some of my some of my followers are my professor. So, ayoko i, ano, you know, ayoko. <laughs> Baka mami sabihin, hala, si Agatha, hindi nag ano, sige. Hindi, hindi. Tiwa, hindi yan. Doc, tiwala lang kayo kay Agatha. When it comes to, lastly, Agatha, siguro, when it yeah. comes to the, ano, when it comes to the joy of, you know, doing this now of, and being an athlete, uh, pagdating sa sense of fulfillment, ngayon, sa na-experience mo, pag makakompare, pag, ba, pag maano may similarities, meron ba? Meron ka na bang mga nare-realize ngayon? Similarities na... Ng, of like, the fulfillment of being an athlete and doing... Uh, pursuing med? Um, fulfilling talaga maging athlete for me. Kasi since, you know, I've been in the scene for more than a decade, syempre, I still feel fulfilled kahit on, on most days. I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like training. Ganun. 
or minsan nakakapagod siya. Sa med school, hindi ko pa na feel kasi syempre, I'm only in my first year. Um, so parang it's more of just learning the basics na muna. Pero feeling ko, dadating din yan sa second or third year or maybe when I get to clinicals, ganun. Um, mm. Sense of fulfillment, siguro, you know, not many athletes can say na they're also med students. So I really hang on to that kasi it's a big part Um, I consider myself na, you know, maging, um, I consider myself to be a pusher, especially sa mga individuals who are doubting themselves kapag gusto nila mag-med school and if they're working at the same time or like having, or if they have like a family business or like their own business or they're an athlete like me, I really want to encourage people na, you know, you can do two things at the same time as long as you put your mind to it and as long as, you know, you make the necessary adjustments and sacrifices. Yun talaga yung pinupush ko. Grabe. It really does take the hard work and dedication. So, Agatha, grabe galing. Thank you so much for taking the time. Kasi nga, it like, makes her schedule just for this interview alone. <laughs> and daming... Yeah. And daming ganap. <laughs> we we caught her at a good time. I messaged yeah. her and she's like, G is like, yeah, let's do it. And oh if I message her maybe, you know, the other day or baka hindi na. So, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you, Agatha. So good luck. Agatha. Good luck sa yung med journey. Good luck sa yung athlete journey. And uh, we're all rooting for you to be successful in what you do. Maraming salamat, Agatha. Once again, this has been uh, Off the Record with Migs and Cheska. Maraming po salamat for supporting Off the Record right here on ABS-CBN Sports. Once again, this is Migs and Cheska. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. In the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.